Hello! In this video tutorial, you will learn how to make 3D LUT Creator work together with Photoshop. You can configure the integration with Photoshop at the Integration tab in the Program Preferences. Please make sure that your version of Photoshop is CS6 or newer, because older versions of Photoshop don't support LUTs. If you don't find the newest version of Photoshop in this list or integration doesn't work, please choose Custom Photoshop and select the path to your Photoshop below. 3D LUT Creator allows you to import images from Photoshop and send LUTs back with one click. LUTs in Photoshop are applied to images as adjustment layers. I edit this image in 3D LUT Creator. Now I send LUT to Photoshop. To do this, I press the LUT to PS button. If Photoshop doesn't run, like now, then both the LUT and the image that is opened in 3D LUT Creator will be sent to Photoshop. LUT is applied as an adjustment layer, so it is possible to change its blending mode or opacity. To import an image from Photoshop, you need to click on the Image from PS button. Now I load the image that was already processed with the LUT, that is, I double the effect. Let's reset all settings and increase the contrast. So I make the LUT that increases the contrast. To apply it in Photoshop together with the first LUT, you must rename your first LUT, otherwise it will be overwritten by the new LUT. Now I have the image layer and two layers with LUTs. 3D LUT Creator supports various image formats, including JPEG, PNG, TIFF, and even PSD. Let's open in Photoshop PSD image and send it to 3D LUT Creator. As you can see, this document contains many adjustment layers. When I send it to 3D LUT Creator, all layers are merged and I have a composite image in the program. 3D LUT Creator supports both 8-bit and 16-bit images. The size of the image that can be loaded into 3D LUT Creator is limited by the size of your available memory. If there is not enough memory, then an import error occurs. For example, this might happen when you download a panoramic photo. What to do in such a case? I will show you on this panorama. Before sending the image to 3D LUT Creator, you should reduce its resolution. Now you can apply color correction to the panorama. Then go to Photoshop, return the original resolution to the image, and apply LUT to it. For the LUT, the size of the file doesn't matter. For the LUT, what is important is the information about the color of each individual pixel. How many of them, one pixel or one million, it doesn't matter. Also note that the LUT doesn't have color profile. Take this into consideration, because the same LUT will work differently with images in different color profiles. Also note that 3D LUT Creator only supports images in RGB color space. 3D LUT Creator does not support images in CMYK and LAB color spaces. However, it doesn't matter because Photoshop applies LUTs only in RGB space. If you try to apply the LUT to the image in LAB color space, then nothing happens. Let's consider how to work with an alpha channel. Let me remind you that in addition to the three channels, R, G, and B, an image can have a channel where, for example, the mask can be written. Let me show you how to use it. I create a selection in this image and separate my subject from the background. Let's move on to the 3D LUT Creator. I start a new LUT. Now I hold the Shift key and click the Import button. The image is loaded with an alpha channel and you can change only the selected part of the image. This is very useful if you want to see how the final image looks. For example, when you work on part of a collage, I make the background colder. 
I send this LUT into Photoshop, and I get an adjustment layer with a selection mask. Let's consider the case when the image in Photoshop contains a layer mask. I load this image into 3D LUT Creator with holding down the Shift key. Again, I will work on the mask only. I send LUT into Photoshop. To apply it with the mask, I hold down the ALT key and click between the layers with the LUT and the image with the mask, so the LUT is applied only to the lower layer. 3D LUT Creator can also work directly with an alpha channel. You can do it via the image menu. For example, the alpha channel can be disabled or filled out to see how the entire image looks with the color correction. The program also has a special tool for drawing a selection in the alpha channel. This is very convenient because program analyzers work only with selected areas. Let me demonstrate this with the following example. I start a new LUT and select this skin with the Alpha Channel tool. I open the analysis window by pressing the F7 key, and then I open Vector Scope. The analyzer shows exactly the part of the image that the Alpha Channel has. If you change the skin tone, it will be clearly visible on the Vector Scope. That's all. Put likes if this lesson was useful to you. Subscribe to the channel. There will be more lessons. See you in the next video.